Get your backpacks and lunch boxes ready. We're going back to school. All right. With tips to help you save on supplies. From pencils and pens to laptops and tablets. Hacks for delicious snacks. You have some stuff for us? This is fun. Find alternatives to college. There are many, many other choices. Build a positive parent-teacher relationship. Teamwork is needed now more than ever. And so much more. Back to school we go. Class is in session. It's your life, it's your list, and it starts right now. Hey everyone, I'm Christina Guerrero. And I'm Jimmy Rhodes, and it's time for our annual special focused on back to school prep. Yes, we are starting with a look at the changes we've seen in the last few years that have impacted everyone from students to teachers and all of us in between. Yep, it's definitely been a challenge, but if we want the best results for our kids, the only way to do it is together. That's right, we are learning about how families can be on Team Teacher. And that's our featured story at the top of the list. One of the most important people in your kid's life can be a teacher. Because for the nine months of school, we spend a lot of time with them, right? Seven to eight hours a day, five days a week. Mariah Lasell, a special needs teacher entering her eighth school year, says that for kids to get the most of that time, it's critical for families and teachers to be teammates. When we're on the same page, it really helps the child to understand like, this is my team, my teacher and my mom or my teacher and my dad or my teacher and my grandma. So to make sure we're all on team teacher, you have to trust the people on your team. And that goes both ways. Parents need to trust the teachers of their students and teachers need to trust the parents. She says that means the teachers putting in the work in the classroom to teach lessons and strategies and then parents working at home to reinforce those messages. When we say we give this advice or this tip, it's not just because it's one thing that we can tell you. It's truly because we've thought about your kid, we've thought about their strengths, we've thought about their weaknesses, and this is what we've come up with. And if kids sense that parents don't trust the teacher, then it will likely be hard for them to as well. For the nine months of the school year, we spend more time with them than their parents do. And so during that time, we are becoming experts on their kids. So taking what we say to heart and giving it the weight that it deserves, I think is really important. To be on the same team, you also have to look at the bigger picture. Is this one thing going to stop them from succeeding in the whole year? No. Is this struggle a learning opportunity that they can then use for the rest of second grade? Absolutely. Teachers are adjusting and planning an entire year, so if everyone works together, kids can learn from any mistakes they make along the way. And the kid that they are when they walk in the door the first day of school is not the same kid they're gonna leave on the last day of school when they walk away. A final way to make sure everyone is on the same side is to be open to new ideas. The world is changing. We're all evolving new tips and tricks and strategies and new fun things. I mean, you see on social media all the time how teachers are being so innovative with content and lessons that we've had for decades. Because at the end of the day, everyone wants to see the students succeed. So if they have mom and dad and grandma and grandpa and their teachers all working together, the one who's going to succeed the most and benefit is going to be that kid. Being on Team Teacher is at the top of the list. We've all known folks who go to college and then go to college some more trying to find a focus until one day they have three half finished degrees and a mountain of debt. But there are ways to avoid all that wasted money and effort. We're looking at alternatives for life after high school. 13 years is a long time for anything. It's the life expectancy of a refrigerator. It's the emergence interval for brood 23 cicadas. And it's more than double the time most Americans stay at a job. But after slogging from kindergarten through high school, what do we expect students to do? Of course, you go to college. Catherine Stevator is the founder of Gap Year Solutions. We're on this like timeline that as soon as you graduate, you have to follow the herd and go right to college. And I'm sorry, but college is way too expensive to be a default. Luckily, there are many, many other choices than just going right to college. We're running down some college alternatives for grads to consider. Let's start with a similar but far cheaper option, community college. 
community college is fantastic for the student that doesn't know they want to embark yet on a four-year institution. And they can take community college classes to decide, yeah, I want to major in psychology, or you know what, I don't think I'm a math student. Maybe I want to brush up some math skills before I do go to a four-year college. Those lower costs can liberate you to explore more options. And when you do discover your path, a lot of states will have their community college students guaranteed into their bigger state school if they have a certain GPA. Great way to get into a great school and much more affordable. Next, look into trade schools and certification programs. There's a lot of students that are not academically pen to paper driven. They want to work with their hands. They're experiential learners. And the trades are just an amazing opportunity. This largely for-profit space has a reputation for being a little scammy. So research programs thoroughly, including reviews from confirmed graduates. And here's one that's big in Europe, but low-key growing in the US apprenticeships. We don't have a lot of craftsmen. Everything from plumbing to electrical to carpentry and all of those skills. So the ancient tradition of hands-on training from someone who's mastered a craft is catching on. According to the Department of Labor website apprenticeship.gov, there are over 600,000 active apprentices across the country. Finally, many grads can benefit from a gap year even if college is the ultimate goal. The number one reason why students don't succeed in college is lack of non-academic skills. And a dose of living in the real world can do wonders. Kids learning really basic life skills about being adaptable and flexible and how to cook, how to change a tire, and time management, and learning to make good choices, and to problem solve. It's their personal growth here. It's their time to figure out who the heck they are instead of going right to college. Because after all, there is no rush to get to college. And to help the kids going back to school stay nourished, here's something for you to learn. How to prep tasty back to school snacks. Jackie Danker is whipping up treats to keep them going all day long. The first day of school is almost here. Everyone's getting prepared and lunches are being packed and what do kids love? Snacks. Snacks! So? I got a couple snacks for us today. We turned to second grade teacher at Great Hearts Archway Veritas in Phoenix, Arizona, Skylar Maroyes, for a lesson in making some tasty treats. And maybe if it looks fun, we can like sneak in some veggies in there Oh, too. always, yeah. Fruit and veggies. <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> We're kicking things off with chocolate banana bites. Grab a banana, some melted chocolate, almond slices, and some coconut flakes. So start by peeling that banana. Cut half inch slices. Perfect. All right. Choose your favorite one, whichever one you like the most. Mm. Well, there's no favorites in school, right? No, but in snack thing. time, <laughs> there can be. Drop your slice of choice into melted chocolate. Dunk time. Yep. Roll it around in there. And now for the sliced almonds and unsweetened coconut flakes. Sprinkle, Sprinkle right on top. That was the bath, this is the shower. Yes. Okay. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> this could be educational. <laughs> and that's all she wrote. Oh, wow. Next, we're noshing on a trip to the zoo. Class trip! Class trip to the zoo without going anywhere. It's kind of a classic ant on a log, except for we're using animal crackers instead of ants. Cause why not? Cause why not? Cut a celery stalk in half, then grab your peanut butter of choice, which Skylar puts in a piping bag because... It just makes it more fun. So you can do a little squiggly. Yeah! A plus. <laughs> then grab some animal crackers. You can choose your favorite animal. A camel! Drop some raisins or another animal on there and voila. The nostalgia! Yep, I love it. Finally, a rice cake owl. For this one, you'll need rice cakes, Cheerios, peanut butter, bananas, carrots, and blueberries. Let's take a rice cake and we're just gonna lather it with some peanut butter. You can use any kind you'd like. Then for the eyes, a couple of banana slices. Look at him! Cut thin slices of apple for the wings. Oh gosh. You're a very patient teacher, thank you. <laughs> so what you're gonna do for your feathers, some little Cheerios. Cheerios! A bit of carrot for the nose. And then last but not least, we have little blueberry eyeballs. It's the so teacher's cute. pet. And enjoy. Mr. Owl, I'm sorry. He's gotta get eaten at some point, right? Snack time, now nap time. <laughs> We're getting gold stars today for making three delicious and fun back to school snacks. Coming up as we head back to school. All right, Space Rangers. Ready? Ready. Ready. New movies that teach and entertain. Plus, families are looking to save on school supplies however they can. How to save money with back to school shopping.
you can look to save 50 to 90% on some of these supplies. And we're proud of our unique campus and are excited to share it with you. The most gorgeous college campuses across America. You'll find our campus near the top of the list. All that and more next. We are back. Now, one overwhelming part of heading back to school is making sure your student has all of the supplies they'll need to get the year started. So Hattie, DJ Mall is here to school us on ways to fill your kids' backpacks without emptying your wallet. The back to school bell is about to ring and it can get pricey. The National Retail Federation conducted its annual survey. The study actually found that families with elementary school age children would be spending about $900 a year on school items. Now more than ever, families are looking to save on school supplies however they can. We spoke with money saving expert from BrickSea.com, Bethany Hollers, to learn how to save on back to school shopping. First, wait to buy certain items. Not every item needs to arrive on the first day of school. Reach out to your child's teacher and see which items are needed immediately and which items can be sent in a little later. She says once the school year starts, so do the discounts. You can look to save 50 to 90% on some of these supplies. Wait a few weeks until your local big box retailer or your local office supply store starts discounting them down to like 10 cents and then scoop them up at that huge discount. Next, take advantage of tax holidays. 45 states collect sales tax in the country, and 16 of them have sales tax holidays for one weekend over the summer. It varies by state, but what that means is that the state waives sales tax on certain school-related purchases, which can include school supplies, clothing, even some electronics, Keep in mind that every state has different restrictions. Some have limits on how much you can purchase tax-free. Others have rules about which items qualify. Google your state to see if you live in one that offers a back-to-school tax-free shopping weekend. Bethany's final tip, consider buying refurbished electronics. Look for a reputable seller on Amazon or b &H Photo or even the manufacturer itself. These are usually certified refurbished. They include a warranty that protects your purchase just as if you were buying it new. You can expect to save sometimes anywhere up to 50% off a refurbished laptop or other electronic items. The cost savings can vary depending on the brand, but even brands that we rarely see go on sale, such as Apple, you can expect to see some pretty decent savings if you're willing to buy refurbished. Backpacks are full and so is our bank account thanks to these back to school shopping tips. Prepping for school is kind of like packing for a long road trip. You need supplies, snacks and clothes, but you should also have some apps to make the journey easier and more rewarding. Teresa Strasser is here to share a few highly rated free apps to check out for your kids. Hey, Teresa. Thank you. On both Android and iOS, these free apps were developed to help students stay on track when that school bell rings. Coming in at number one, Anywhere Teacher, an app that looks great for little learners. We understand that skills learned in the early years can make all the difference in the classroom. For preschoolers, kindergartners, and grade school kids, this award-winning teacher-developed app packs over 2,500 activities that set a beautiful precedent. Learning is fun. Including games, books, and videos, all developed to build a math and reading foundation for success. And all their educational materials, workbooks, flashcards, and more, are aligned with national education standards. Anywhere Teacher, where learning happens. Help with after hours learning, parents vote yes. At number two, Quizlet. This is an app to make studying more efficient for middle and high school students. Quizlet offers simple tools that help you practice and master whatever you're learning. And there are thousands of learning activities to choose from. Including flashcards, great for basic review. Students search whatever they need to study and Quizlet's learning assistant takes it from there. It saves you time, helps you learn material better, and personalizes the path to help you reach your goals. They even have learning games, their newest, Quizlet Live. You can create a study game in seconds that engages students through competition and collaboration. Little apps building big brains. And third on our back to school apps list, Evernote, a note taking app for college students that combines their to-do lists and schedules to keep them on track. We'll just connect your calendar to your notes and set up reminders to open the right note right when you need it. It uses that info to create a daily dashboard 
showing students tasks they need to complete, their calendar and notes, providing vital guidance at a glance. So you always have the right info right when you need it, so you can stroll in ready for anything. And it upgrades traditional written notes by allowing the addition of recorded audio, video, and pictures. Thanks, Evernote. It's like a personal assistant for students. And those are three apps that look great for going back to school. Lots more to come right here on the list. Stay with us. Welcome back to our back to school special. Okay, textbooks are a great resource to help us learn things like math or science, but another way to get educated is watching movies or documentaries on all kinds of different subjects. We are learning and being entertained at the same time on the watch list. Learning doesn't have to be exclusive to the classroom. Movies offer so many opportunities for learning. There are always lots of discussion points to dig into. Christine El Guzma is the senior editor of learning content at Common Sense Education, a nonprofit that gives teachers the best research-based tools, including teaching strategies, lesson plans, and the best films for the classroom. We also advocate for kids, sort of like an AARP for young people. She has three recent films that not only captivate, but also can help students learn. To infinity and beyond. Starting with the Pixar film, Lightyear. All right, Space Rangers, ready? Ready. ready. Now playing in theaters, this origin story of the legendary Space Ranger Buzz Lightyear can help with social emotional learning. It features a really great example of positive leadership. We know that character as somebody who's a, a force to be reckoned with, very courageous, and can lead basically any sort of ragtag group and get them out of trouble via problem solving and bravery. Finish the mission, no matter the cost. You will never quit, whatever the galaxy may throw your way. Will you please turn that off? <laughs> It's just too easy. We move on to a musical film streaming on Disney Plus, Sneakerella. My kicks, kicks. This modern take on the Cinderella story can inspire those interested in the performing arts. The inspiration mainly around the choreography would just pay respect to New York. It's literally a melting pot of the movement. So being able to listen to that music, look at the dance thing, talk about it. If kids are curious and engaged in music, dance, and the arts, a movie like this can be inspirational. Finally, we stay on Disney Plus for the documentary film, We Feed People. We're here with a simple mission, to make sure that food is an agent of change. It features the work of world-renowned chef Jose Andres and his nonprofit World Central Kitchen. It works in many ways to inspire students. This movie touches on civic engagement and volunteerism. The emergency has this amazing way to speak to you. You only have to listen. Getting inspired to get involved in causes, looking up organizations that are close to you where you can get involved. You can listen to the situation. You can listen to the people. Showcasing the titles that are the right mix of entertainment and education on the watch list. We'll be right back. Welcome back. As we wrap up our back to school special, we thought we'd take a tour of some colleges around the country. It's not all about classrooms and dorms. Campuses are also an important part of the educational experience. So we're checking out some of the most beautiful college campuses across America. Ever wonder if colleges really look as elegant and stately as they do in the movies? We're about to find out as we tour some of the most beautiful campuses across America. I know it, it doesn't look like your typical college. It almost just looks like kind of like you're in a dream. Let's begin at Stanford University in Stanford, California. This is the Oval, where you have the Palm Line Street, Palm Drive, leading up into the quad, culminating in the church. This is the Stanford picture. It's located on 8,180 acres and features beautiful roads and amazing places to enjoy fresh air. I went on a really long run. I remember just thinking, wow, like, I don't think there could be a better place to do this. Stanford is also home to a number of wonderful art collections. Paris Pratoto is a big installation which is spread out through the venue. And it is an installation made of globes. And these globes are made of stone, different kind of stones from all over the world. 
Our next stop is Rice University in Houston, Texas. Home of the Owls. We're proud of our unique campus and are excited to share it with you. It first opened in 1912 and the beauty and history of this place is still intact. We'll start our tour at Rice's most iconic structure. Lovett Hall was the first building on campus and is still the photo to get. This campus is set on a 300 acre urban location with more than 4,300 trees. Art is also an important part of the beauty of Rice. The site specific art installations around the university will make you wonder if you're on a college campus or at a museum. Last on our list is Barry College in Rome, Georgia. Are you ready to be amazed? Nowhere else will you find a home like this. This 27,000 acre location is home to both historic structures and nature. Ask anyone here what we love most about Barry, and you'll find our campus near the top of the list. And you can just explore and there's so many ways. You can go for a bike ride, go for a walk, go for a run with some friends. Filling brains with knowledge and eyes with beauty across America. Okay, those are beautiful schools, but I'm gonna react like everyone about their own school and say, how did the University of Michigan not make that list? Mm, or USC? Jimmy, you know what? There's always next year. I hope. <laughs> Friends, thanks so much for watching. Here's a look at what's coming up next time on The List. We have ways to reduce stress. Just keep doing this for a minute or two. Plus, you get 100% of all of the nutrients that are in that vegetable or the fruit. Cocktails packed with nutrients. We can actually add a little something something to our cold fresh juices, right? Yeah. And shark myths debunked. I've been totally wrong about these animals. All that and so much more tomorrow on The List.